Welcome to Irrational Math Academy. In this video, we'll solve five questions. So let's start. Find the value of sine 42 degrees by cos 48 degrees plus tan 58 degrees by cot 32 degrees. Before solving this, we need to remember this. Sine 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta is cos theta or cos 90 minus theta is sin theta tan 90 minus theta is cot theta cot 90 minus theta tan theta cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta or secant 90 minus theta is cosecant theta. So if you remember this 6, you can solve this problem. So let's start this problem. Let me write down this sign. Forty two degrees by cos forty eight degrees plus tan fifty eight degrees by cot thirty two degrees. Now, if it is ten, can I write it as twelve minus two? Ten, can I write it as twelve minus two? or 10 can I write it as 15 minus 5 similarly I want to write this 42 as sin 90 minus 48 so if you subtract this 90 minus 48 you will get 42 so what I did is I wrote 42 I wrote 42 as 90 minus 48 by cos 48 degrees plus tan 90 minus 32 degrees what I did is 42 degrees I wrote it as 90 minus 48 degrees and 58 degrees I wrote it as 90 minus 32 degrees by cot 32 degrees. If you look at here, sin 90 minus theta. So, sin 90 minus theta is what? Cos theta. Here also, sin 90 minus theta. Here, theta is 48 degrees. So, what I will get is cos 48 degrees by cos 48 degrees plus tan 90 minus theta here theta is 32 degrees what 32 degrees by what 32 degrees what 48 degrees by what 48 degrees 1 plus what sorry cos 48 degrees by cos 48 degrees is 1 cot 32 degrees by cot 32 degrees is 1. Answer is 2. Is it clear? Next question. Express sin 65 degrees plus cos 75 degrees in terms of trigonometric ratio of angle between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. So what I'll do is, let me write down the question, sin 65 degrees plus cos 75 degrees. Just now I said that in the previous case, in the previous case what I did, 42 I wrote it as what, 90 minus 48 degrees. Here also, 65 
I'll write it as 90 minus 25 degrees. 65, I can write it as 90 minus 25 degrees. And 75, I'll write it as 90 minus 15. So, sine sin 65, I'll write it as 90 degrees minus 25 degrees plus cos 75, I'll write it as 90 degrees minus 15 degrees. Sin 90 minus theta, cos theta, cos 25 degrees plus cos 90 minus theta, sin theta, that is sin 15 degrees. They asked us to write in terms of trigonometric ratio and the angle between 0 and 45. If you see here it is 25 degrees and it is 15 degrees which is in between 0 and 45 degrees. This is our required answer. Is it clear? Next. Find the mode of the observation given below. Before that, if ungrouped data is given, let us assume 2, 3, 7, 11, 2, 5 and 2. If you look at here, these are the observations or this is the data given. Mode is nothing but, how to find mode is nothing but, which is the most repeating one? The repeating. From the given information, if you see here, 2 repeated 3 times and none repeated. So, mode, mode of this observation is here. Now, let's solve this question. What is given here? Trigonometric uh, ratio values is given. Sin 45 degrees value is given. So, sin 45 degrees value is what? 1 by root 2. Sin 90 value. Sin 90 is 1. Cos 0 value. Cos 0 value is 1 tan 60 degrees value is root 3 cot 45 degrees value is 1 and cos 45 degrees is 1 1 by root 2 if you look at here root 2 and root 2 ok it repeated twice and if you look at here 1 1 and 1. So, it is the most repeated one. So, the answer is mode equal to 1. Is it clear? Next. Sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square minus 2. We need to solve this one. Before solving this, we need to remember this formula. A plus B whole square. A square plus b square plus 2ab a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab so let me write down the question again sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square minus 2 equal to this is in the form of what a plus b whole square so sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus it is in the form of a minus b so sin square theta plus 
cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta minus 2 and if you look at here plus 2 sin theta cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta gets cancelled and you will be left with what sin theta sorry sin square theta sin square theta 2 sin square theta plus cos square theta cos square theta cos square theta minus 2 and if you look at here you can take 2 common so sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 and one more thing you need to remember is identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so in this I will substitute the value sin square theta plus cos square theta value is what 1 minus 2 so 2 minus 2 0 clear next find the mean of first composite number before solving this, you need to know what are composite numbers. Composite numbers are those numbers which has more than two factors. More than two factors. If you look at prime numbers, If you look at prime numbers, which has exactly two factors, exactly two factors. Clear? Now we need to find out mean. Mean is nothing but sum of observations, sum of observations. by number of observations those who don't know sum sum means addition product means multiplication and the difference means subtraction multiplication and subtraction so let's solve the question find the mean of the first five composite numbers one is neither prime nor composite. Next, two. Two is a prime number. Three. Three is also a prime number because one has two factors, three has two factors. Four. Composite number. One, two, and four. Five. You look at it is a prime number. Six. Six is a composite number. One, two, three, and six. 7, 7 is a prime number, 8, 8 is a composite number, 1, 2, 4, 8, these are the factors, 9, 9 is a composite number, 1, 3 and 9, 10, 10 is a composite number, 1, 2, 5, 10, so we need to find the mean of first 5 composite numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got all first five numbers. So what I said? Mean is a sum of observations by number of observations. Four plus six plus eight plus nine plus ten. By number of observations, first to five they said right. Look at ten. Six plus four ten. Twenty. 29, 29, 37, 37 by 
5. And if you want to convert it into decimals, five seven the thirty five two left decimal zero five four the twenty. So seven point four is the mean of the first five composite number. I hope you understood and if you have doubts you can comment in the comment section and all the best.